right. Good evening. I hope everyone's having an awesome evening. You seem to be continually having technical difficulties. Oh, well, it is what it is. So, sale today, 24 hours sale. It's a big sale. It's a big deal. Whole bunch of uh, stamp sets on sale. So I grabbed a few that I use that are on sale right now. So this is the perfectly plaid. So these are just a couple of the cards that we made. Um, if you go back to our Christmas in July, you will see a whole whack of cards made with the uh, perfectly plaid stamp set. And this one's on sale, 15% off. The Snowman uh, Merry Christmas made a bunch of cards with this one as well. I don't think I have any left. They all got sold. So this one's also 15% off. Beautiful Friendship made some beautiful cards with this one. 15% off. And uh, Make a Difference. So I like this one because sometimes I like to uh, stamp out someone's name or, you know, be more personalized with it. So I grabbed this one. So again, 15% off. So these are just a few of the ones that I have that are on sale just for today. So don't delay. Get yours today. And there's a whole whack of them. If you check the uh, my Facebook page, you'll see that there's a whole whack of them. And you can coordinate the stamp set that you're picking up today with the designer series paper that will be going on sale in October. So like what, a week away? 10 days away, not even. Um, Forever Designer Series, the plaid tidings. I've been using this one lately. Whale of a Time, did a ton of cards with this one as well. You can go back and see Magic in the Night, just in time for Halloween. Playing with Patterns, I've got a bunch of cards that I'll be making with that coming up. We made some with the Snowflake paper, Heartwarming Hugs, Toll Tidings. We didn't make any cards with these ones. I'm saving that until we get closer to Christmas. Trimming the town, that too. Saving until we get a little bit closer. And then the poinsettia uh, place paper. So, the, and there's a, a couple more that I just don't have myself. So, um, oh yeah, they're all in good taste. So the one that I use all the wood grain for and stuff, that's going to be on sale next month, 15% off as well. So, I'm telling you, this is a great time to pick up yourself some stamp sets and some designer series paper and uh, get yourself all ready for Christmas. So the starter kit promotion is on until the end of the month. So if you've been eyeing a, a, a new big shot, this might be the perfect time to join and become a demonstrator. You can join the group um, with myself and then there's a bunch of uh, lovely ladies uh, that we get together. It's gonna be this Thursday, we're gonna get together and do some crafts and stuff. So. So great, great deal that's coming to a close very, very quickly. And my last commercial is the open house. So in case I didn't mention it, my name is Shannon and I'm with Paper Delights. And I come on every evening at seven o'clock Monday to Friday to inspire you and to stir the imagination and hopefully uh, motivate you and give you tons of ideas of cards that you can make. So I have an open house coming up on Sunday, September 27th from 10 till 2. We will be outside and we will be social, no, we will be physically distancing. Uh, table set up, you know, the whole shebang. Cash or e-transfer. So it's going to be lots of fun. All right. So wait until you see what I've been doing today. Oh my goodness. I've been having so much fun. So these are a few of... The pumpkins I made today. I'm not quite finished all of them, but I'm almost finished them. Well, let's do two at a time. So these two. So this one I used uh, that water, the crystal pigment, the pigment sprinkles. 
if ever you wanted to try them, now is like the perfect time. I didn't buy them for the longest time because they were like $40, which was a lot of money. But they're on the clearance aisle right now for I think $12. Amazing deal. And for the amount that you get, this will last you a long, long time. So you get the six colors for 12 bucks, And they're going to be so awesome. So I used... These will make some cards up with this. Hi, Marianne. And so, yeah, do you like the pumpkins? This is what I've been doing with them this afternoon. Just having way too much fun. And wait, wait for it. Look. So this is with the pigment sprinkles. And then, oh, look at that. Double-sided. Wha-bam. Check it out. So we've got a Halloween-themed uh, plaid on one side and more of the traditional plaid on the other side. This is with the sprinkles, and then we heat embossed that. And then, for those that, like me, you know, like a little less traditional pumpkin, I did these with the designer series paper and the gold foil for the, for the top part. And then on the other side, ooh, so much fun, we did that. How beautiful is that? Isn't that nice? So you can have them, put them up in your on your table or on your mantle or what have you. You can pick whatever side you like. So I did them double sided. So these will be on sale um, at the open house on um, Sunday. So, and that was the four. I was given four and I've used up all four. So, all right. So I have a couple of cards to show you. You're gonna laugh because I have one card that I did up like probably five days ago. And I can't remember how I designed it. So it's going to be a, can you guess how to design this card kind of a night. So this one though, we've got so many ideas for this one. So I liked, I loved the metallic, the brushed metallic. It's, it's so subtle and so sweet. So I thought we would do, you know, a little tone on tone kind of an idea. So we've got the script writing or we've got the dainty diamonds and then I wanted to use just a piece of crumb cake and then this is the script again and then we'll put one of the the leaves so the question is do we like the dainty diamond or do we like the script with the script what do you think script or dainty diamond okay so while you're thinking of that, I'm going to put the circles together and you can tell me what you think. <laughs> so are we doing the script or Dainty Diamonds? I kind of like the script. What do you think? Dainty diamonds? All right, dainty diamond it is. They're both really nice. I don't think you can go wrong with either one. But I really liked the, the subtleness of it. And we could add a sentiment, but. And then I have this one. I think this one, this one here is the copper, so it's a bit darker. Do we like the darker one or do we like the lighter one? And then this one is, I think, the brass. I can't remember. So which one do we like better, the copper or the brass? I think the copper really kind of, you can see it a bit more. I think I like the copper one a bit better. All right, we're gonna pop that one up. And that's the card. It's really simple. I think it's really elegant. It could be a birthday card. It could be an anniversary card. I think there's, I think it's really versatile with the, uh, the elegance and the simplicity of it. It could be a Thanksgiving, you know, card too. So I'm going to put it on a bit of an angle. I know, I'm sorry. 
Some people like it up and down. I'm a little wild and crazy like that. There we go. Super simple. So pretty. And that becomes the, the real uh, focal point for the card. All right. So I just got my pack of plaid paper, which I was using to make some of the pumpkins and stuff. Um, but when I've been making these, what I've been doing is that I'll cut a strip that's like um, four by, well, actually, that's not even that. What is this? This is, this is three by three, basically. The other one's a little bit longer. Um, and then I take the, the centerpiece out because you can do the reverse. So the way it punches it, I guess, is the best way. It leaves like a little stitched edge. So you can do the reverse of the, the leaf, which I think is so cool. So they had this beautiful purple plaid and I've been dying to pull out this nice, I think, rich razzleberry, I think it is. So nice. And then I thought with the copper color and then I have the sentiment, have a beautiful day that I heat embossed to put on the bottom. Again, pretty simple, but I think it's got a lot of punch to it with the plaid and the, and the copper foil. All right. So we could pop this up. I definitely want to pop this one up, but we could pop this one up if we wanted to, or we could leave it down. I'm not sure. Ah, we'll leave this one down. I've got another one we can pop up. I want to sort of make sure that I'm getting all the spots because I want to make sure that the, the little spiky parts stay down. There, and then I'm going to pop this one up. There. I've also been, uh, I've got a couple of like glass votive kind of things that I'm going to decorate as well. And put some nice candles inside. There's going to be so many nice things. Telling you, I'm having so much fun. All right, there we go. Again, have a beautiful day. Really simple. We could add gems to it, but I think I think it's good like that. All right. So this is the card, the guess how we're going to design it card. And my original idea for this card was I wanted to show you how you can add a bit of dimension to the leaves. So if you see here, these ones here, I've done the edges and I'll show you what I mean by that if I can find my dauber maybe not all right we'll have to grab another one. Oh, there it is I put it in such a safe place I couldn't find it so if you look at this sleeve it's just it's just plain, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. But then this one here, I've done a little bit of ink around the edge and it just helps to give it a bit of dimension. And I think it just adds to the look that it makes them look more like the leaves that you see on the ground, right? You would see leaves on the ground that have, you know, some dark spots and some light spots. And so you just take a dauber or you could take uh, a Q-tip, I guess. And I'm just going around the edges and just adds a little bit of dimension to it. Now, if you don't, if you're like me and you only have a few daubers, I clean them off in between with a baby wipe and then sort of dry it.
Oh, the dog has made his way up. My dog is so old. He started a new, a new habit. He grinds his teeth now in the middle of the night. So between my husband snoring beside me and the dog randomly grinding his teeth, I'm telling you, I'm not sleeping very well. And I love them both, but if they keep it up, I'm going to kick them both out of the room. All right. There we go. So that's what I wanted to show you was how you can add a little bit of dimension to your leaves. Beyond that, I don't remember how I was going to design this cart. This is one of the wood grains. And I think my idea had been to sort of drop the, the leaves sort of randomly on and then put this across with the bow. I think that's what I was going to do, but to be honest with you, I don't remember anymore. So we'll just, you know, put some randomly on and uh, hope for the best. <laughs> oh dear. That's what happens when you make cards too far in advance. So, but I mean, I don't think it really matters how, uh, how it gets placed. And then, like I said, my idea was to sort of put, uh, now I am going off cause I'm going to trim, trim the, the edges and then I'll put that across. So I think I think maybe something like that. So I'm going to use my white glue and I'm trying to debate whether or not to glue this on first or the paper, but I think I'm going to glue this on first. I always like to have baby wipes when I'm crafting because inevitably I find I end up needing them either for my fingers or for a project or something. All right, and then these ones down here. So I think this was the idea that I had in my mind, but again, who knows? But we're going to go with it. Oh dear. There we go. Something like that, I think. All right. So let's trim. Some of the edges here. I like cards where the the leaves sort of go off the edge like that or the flowers or you know whatever it happens to be. I always think that looks cool. Now some of it can go over the edge a little bit because of how I do have enough space around it. So now before I put it down, I think I'm going to put a bit of adhesive just to help hold my ribbon in place. Oh dear, it's sticking to everything. There, just like that. All right. And then we'll put the rest of our adhesive on and then we'll attach the bow. So this is the make up the card as you go card. But I think it looks pretty. 
I just liked that, you know, you can change the effect of the leaf by merely adding a little bit of color to it. I mean, we could add some more if we wanted to, but I kind of like it like that. What do you think? Yes, no? Should I use it while I'm ahead? <laughs> Back away from the cards. All right, I'm gonna just add a glue dot to my bow. There. All right. It was quick, a quick night. Look at that. So there are our cards, excuse me, for this evening. Some quick and pretty cards. If you're still looking to get some of those uh, sets that are on sale, you can find the link to my uh, Stamping Up website on the Facebook page. You can just click on it and you can go and pick out the whichever sets work for you. And otherwise we will see you. Oh, and if you make any, oh, so look at this, double. If you make any purchase, this month, you also get a pack of a six by six designer series paper and the labels as my thank you to you. And uh, we've made a bunch of cards that you can see that you can make yourself with that paper. So you get 15% off, a bunch of really nice stamp sets, some paper, I'll probably throw in a bunch of other stuff. So it's a good deal all around. So thank you so, so much for joining me this evening. I will be back tomorrow at the same time and uh yeah we'll see uh we'll see what else i've been working on i got no more pumpkins left but uh but that's okay i might move on to something else i just think they're so pretty hey if they don't uh sell i'm sure they will work perfectly on my table but i have a feeling they'll they'll go pretty quick so so yeah i love the the technique this one turned out really nice i'm really happy with this one might have to trim that a bit but i don't know if you can see i did the color crystal on the on uh, watercolor paper and then i let it dry and then i sprayed it with the mist and then i heat embossed with the gold i think this one's definitely my favorite it's very pretty and then some of them i've just put paint on the back and then some of them have paper and then this is when I got my plaid paper it's very exciting and I did a Halloween theme on the other side there you go so hopefully we'll see you on Sunday otherwise have yourself a wonderful evening and uh, we'll see you tomorrow take care thank you bye